What's up YouTube? I'm going to be showing you guys how to put your PS3 into your recovery menu. The recovery menu. Or, as I like to call it, um, PS3 safe mode. So, right now my PS3 is on. In the moment I'm going to turn it off. PlayStation and computer on the same system for TV. And then what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to turn off the system by holding the PS button and I'm going to click turn off system. And I'm going to click yes. System turning off. Okay. Now you want to make sure your PS3 is in standby mode, which is a little red light here. So when it's in standby mode, what you want to do is press and hold this light until PS3 turns on and then back off. So it'll start to boot up and then it'll turn back off. So as you can see up here, it's turned on and then it turned back off. And then one two seconds after, I'm gonna press and hold it so you hear two consecutive beeps. That's one. That's two. Let go. Okay. If you can't read that, that doesn't help. <laughs> Connect a controller using a USB cable and then press the PS button. Controller. Press the PS button. And then you have the option to restart the system, restore default settings, restore the file system, which is restoring the. What do you call it? Forget that. Okay, rebuild database. I believe that is placing all the folders back in the right place. Restore. That restores the PS3 default, that wipes the hard drive, that resets default settings, that puts it you know, back at square one. And system update, that's update the system, which. I believe it'll do it from a flash drive rather than doing it from the network update. So I'm just going to restart the system. And just as a little hint, I'm going to show you guys something else. Okay, so I'm just booting back up. Okay, so, um, like when you plug in, like maybe you've had your TV on HDMI and then you decided you want to bring it somewhere to a different TV and you had to switch to AV. When you do that, you get a blank screen. I had that problem for a long time. You get a blank black screen and nothing happens. And But when you plug in an HDMI and it's on AV, then yeah, sure. But what you want to do to fix that is you want to turn off your PS3 and then you want to, again, you want to hold it till it beeps three times, and then it'll turn back off. And then just turn it on once. Rather than holding it till two consecutive beeps, just turn it on like you normally would. And that'll solve that black screen problem. So then you're just going to connect the controller, hit yes. Hit yes. And then feel free to just do whatever. Sign in the PlayStation Network and everything. Alright, well, see you later. Subscribe, comment below. If you're having a technological problem with your PlayStation 3, PSB, or PC, then please just make a video response and put it down below to as a response to this video. And I'll try to help you with that. Alright, well, see you later.